in Lowe's right now because our washer went out and we need a new washer. We're gonna get the cheapest one they have because I don't wanna be paying hella much for a washer. Just put a thing in our plans. So we're gonna find a washer. That's the one we get in. As basic as can be. $2.99. Basic washer. It'll be nice to have a washer again though. As you can see, this is the old washer. We tried to see if we could fix it. No luck. So this one's gonna be out of here. So that one's done. See, we got feral cats living over here. Haven't seen them for a couple of days. But here are their traps, homemade traps. We haven't been feeding them though, so hopefully they found another place to go. Close out. No, I mean, you don't have to do it today, baby. Oh. Had to take those clothes out of the dryer or out of the washer because it broke down on me. So I got to rewash these. Luckily I didn't have too much stuff in there, so that was a good thing. At Starbucks right now, of course there's a line! Oh, good night. So, I'm getting my hair done today, so it won't be like this anymore. So I just took it out of a four day protective hairstyle, and I'm going today to get cornrows. Um, you'll just see it later, but I think it's going to look so good on me and for my head shape. So I'm super excited about that. I haven't had corn rolls in forever since I was a little girl or not a little girl, but since I was like a teenager having braids and corn rolls in my head, you know what I mean? So, and I've been with my man for almost a decade and he has never seen me with braids in my hair like that. So, um, I'm gonna love it hopefully it will last for a month because I'm just getting with my natural hair so hopefully it will last me an entire month because that's the goal I don't want to have to do my hair that's the whole point of me um, getting the corn rolls and this is another uh, protective hairstyle as well so I'm going to my hairstylist because I don't know how to corn roll my own hair which I need to learn how to I'm learning how to French braid um so yeah it's not turning out the way that i want it so i'm just gonna get it done and i'm thinking about getting singles with the fake hair um when i go out of the country this year because i don't want to have to worry about my hair and i am going to do my best to have everything in a carry-on <laughs> so it's gonna be like a 10 day trip and I just want to have just one light ass carry on to have that's it and of course a personal bag but other than that I don't want to be checking any bags so that means hair products need to stay home so I'm thinking about getting singles um, I don't know I think about getting like a burgundy I don't know I think that'd be cute but we'll see so I'm at Starbucks right now trying to get my usual Cause I'm gonna be in the shop and I don't wanna be starving.
morning, what can I serve for you today? May I please have a tall green tea frappuccino okay. with soy milk, Okay. no whipped cream, All right. and if you can add a banana. Of course. And then can I have a pack of the Madeleines? The regular or the chocolate? The regular, please. Just got my hair done. I don't know if you can tell how I have it, but it's corner rolled in the front and the back. Um, got my little bun going. Um, I just have to, I guess it has to grow on me because I'm not totally in love with it at the moment. And once again, it's probably because I haven't had my hair corn rolled in a long time. Um, so I think once I put it on some eyes, you know, put on some lip, put on some earrings, I think it will look better. But as of right now, it definitely has to grow on me. Um, but once again, it's a protective hairstyle, so um, I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, but I am going to try to have it in for at least a month. At least. So, we'll see. Today I have regular-ish to do. Go to Walmart, cash my check, get some things from Walmart, go grocery shopping, get a mani-pedi. So... Something told me to go to the post office and get my new driver's license because my di my driver's license did expire um, a couple of weeks ago. Something told me to do it this morning, but I was like, oh no, I'll just go Monday. You know, we're going to be going that way anyway. I'll just go Monday to get it. I come to Walmart, try to cash my check. Now this lady, I'm sure someone else would have done it besides her. Cause she, this lady in particular, she always gives me hell when I'm trying to cash my check there. Always. It never fails. I'm like, damn, why I gotta be this one here? <sighs> but. So now I'm just shit out of luck at the moment. I'm still about to go get a mani pity. I mean, I still have money in the bank, but it's still like, fuck, I don't want to be using that money. Yet. You know, it's like, I have certain ways on how I do my stuff, so. It is what it is, and I'll just replenish what I'll take out of the bank when I go cash my jet. All right, so I'm about to go get a mani pedi right now. Just got done getting my toes done. A little French tip, super cute. Um, also got my nails done. Got a cute little mustard color. Perfect for summer still. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So, I'm on my way to Rayleigh's right now. Um, of course, I left my damn reusable bags. <sighs> I hate when I forget them. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm on my way to Rayleigh's. And these cornrows, they hurt. My head is not used to them anymore. I'm like, they hurt. Um, so I'm gonna just bear it because I'm like I told myself I'm gonna have it in for a whole month so I'm gonna do my best to have it in for a whole month um, and depending on how I feel I may leave early to head to Walmart to cash my check because my Nana did go ahead and send me my new driver's license so I should have that at the post office so um, if I do head to Walmart and get the little things that I needed if I feel so we'll see I am on my way to drop off my car <clears throat> so I have about almost two hour drive to drop it off hopefully I can make it to Ikea today I really want to see what they have in far as far as popsicle molds go so I'll catch y'all I'm just excited that I'm dropping off my car today get it fixed so I'm excited about that the usual yeah uh, thinking about the chicken wings and the oh, salad oh yeah and a pizza uh -huh. yeah our usual sounds like a plan I know I heard back about I was like oh is he thinking of meat cheese yeah I just want to get back out of here really I know it was it was a lot of cars coming down, which was surprising. But a nice little stop in Vacaville and then Sacramento, IKEA, and Home Depot. 
I am in our favorite spot, Avicii's. We love coming here when we pass by. So we're just gonna have salad, wings, and a pizza. Let me tell you why the heavens and my angels are so good to me all the time. Last night, I got off work late and we did so well that my boss was like, okay, everybody can have a shift drink. And that's one alcoholic beverage for having a great evening. Now, I usually skip out on the uh, shift drinks because usually I could get a dessert instead. However, boss didn't say anything about a dessert and I didn't ask, it was late. I was like, you know what? I haven't had a shift drink. Let me go ahead and have a shift drink. Not thinking anything of it. Done it plenty of times before. Right after the shift drink, I'm gone. I'm out of there. I'm on my way home. Y'all, tell me why. So, I'm driving down. And I live country roads, okay? Nobody's on these roads. And I'm driving, minding my own damn business. Now, mind you, the speed limit for this road is 45. Now, I know I'm speeding. I'm going well above 50, 55, and I know it. I know it. So, with that being said, I'm driving and whoosh, the car that passed me, you know how you can tell when it's a cop car. He put on those brakes so fast, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. So, he puts on his brakes so fast. Of course, I immediately slow down as if I, as if I was not speeding but that's the whole reason why he stopped um, so woo, 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 those lights come on I'm like oh shit pull my little self over and at this point I know I smell like alcohol I know it I know I smell like alcohol I pull over I'm a little nervous but I'm keeping my cool at this point I'm keeping my cool he the cop and i've been pulled over before and i'm just hoping that it wasn't this lady cop that pulled me over prior but not on the same road but probably 10 minutes from where i was and and mind you i'm literally 10 minutes from where i live so when he pulled me over so i'm like damn it so the cop comes to my right side and He's like, how's it going? You know, trying to be nice and where I'm coming from. Um, do you know how fast you were going? And I'm like, I know I was speeding. I'm probably going about 50. He was like, I clocked you at 58. This is a 45 speed limit um, road or whatever. And he asked for my license, my registration. My registration, good heavens, I couldn't find an up to date one, but he was like, it's okay showed him my insurance um, he asked if my license was valid I'm like of course you know and then he asked me if I had if I've been drinking if I've been drinking and I said I had one shift drink he was like what's that I'm like well I had one alcoholic beverage before I left work and he was like where do you work and I said you know where I worked and I started to get nervous my hands start to shake and he's flashing his light on me I'm shaking I'm clearly like nervous at this point he says okay let me come around and check your eyes I'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm like I'm about to get a DUI I'm about to get a DUI and I'm like about to freak out he comes over to my left side flashing the lights in my eyes follow my finger and he did all this this and that that this and he was like you sure he was like one drink right I was like I swear I was like one drink one drink I said I I know these roads I drive these roads every day I know I know these roads by like the back of my hand you know and and then what did he say something happened and then it was just like okay we'll have a good night that was that and then I said oh my gosh I said thank you so much I appreciate that 
you know, I appreciate it, which I did. My black little ass could have been handcuffed in jail. And mind you, mind you, yesterday there was a shootout and two police officers were shot and the suspect killed himself or was dead by police. So tensions were high and I literally was like, oh my gosh, this could have been so much worse, like not even funny. I could have had a cop that just would not let me go. This man let me go on speeding and he let me go on drinking. But once again, I was not drunk. He did his test. He did his test. I was not drunk. I don't even think I was a little tipsy. It's just you could smell it on me for some reason. You could smell alcohol exuding from my pores. I don't know what it is, but you can smell it even if I have one drink. And usually usually that's why I don't drink as much as I used to. Um, one, I don't like the feeling <laughs> afterwards. And sometimes I don't like the feeling um, when when I'm in that moment, when I'm in that that set so but he let me go he let me go and I was like oh my gosh I'm so blessed right now it's not even funny like I swear the heavens and my angels are looking out for me and I'm not even over exaggerating like I said literally I could have gotten a DUI took my little black self to jail I mean it just would have been a cluster so I am just so grateful and so humbled with this experience and I'm grateful and now I know don't even risk it don't even take the chance to to drive under the influence or to speed we're not in a rush and but then I feel like I am in a rush when I'm ready to get off I'm ready to go home from work <sighs> but I just have to remind myself no nope. Take your time. You in no rush, girl. So that's what happened to me last night. I was so scared, y'all. It wasn't even funny. So definitely let me know. Let me know if you have gotten a DUI or if you've been shit scared when you got pulled over. And let me know also if... A police officer just let you off the hook like that I had two things working against me well hmm, maybe three I don't want to bring skin color into it but maybe three so I had the odds against me however the kindness of that police officer's heart and my angels and the heavens it all worked out and I definitely learned a lesson from this let me know if you've learned a lesson as well from your own experiences down below in the comment. Let me know. I want to hear. I don't want to be the only one. I know I'm not the only one. So don't leave me out here to seem like it. Alrighty. I'll catch y'all. Peace.